guys. Just got done with day 10 of Insanity Max 30. Today's workout was a new one. It was Tabata Strength. Um, up until this point, we'd only been doing Tabata Power. So we did three weeks or two weeks of Tabata Power, and today marked Tabata Strength. I maxed out at 10 minutes and 45 seconds. I kind of psyched myself out for this workout because um, I I read the I was for some reason it's the first time I was curious to see what the description of the workout said and it, it said for the first time you know halfway through month one you'll be introduced to this disc and Shanti takes it up a notch and it's you know no breaks whatever blah 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 so I got scared thinking that it was going to be like twice as hard because at this point we're preparing for month two which gets harder which gets a little more tense I guess so I kind of psyched myself out and so I was happy to see that when I got to the workout it wasn't much different than Tabata Power. I'd say the only difference is there was a little more kind of repetition on the same muscle, um, the same muscle group. I maxed out at 1045 because of the diamond push-ups which are kind of like it's tricep push-ups basically um, and by the second round I just I I couldn't go anymore. My muscle would literally not push any further. So it wasn't like I was just tired or gagging or my body was tired. I just couldn't do the push up. So I figured my form faltered. I had to max out. I hated that because I felt like I could have pushed more, but my body just physically wouldn't let me. So that was a little frustrating. But next time, hopefully, my muscle will be a little more developed to do a little more push ups. I will say, oh, um, and that's the thing. So with this workout, there's a lot of repetition of the same muscle group. So he went from doing, um, I don't know, like burpees to um, putting all the weight on your shoulders and doing push-ups, diamond push-ups, and then doing more push-ups. And so it was a lot of sticking to the same muscle group to where you just felt like you needed to collapse. So I would be happy if I never saw another push-up a day in my life. Push-ups are my struggle, which is surprising because I have some um, pretty good muscle tone. I mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm not crazy or anything, but this, I've always had biceps. I've always had kind of a strong back, strong arms, but they don't necessarily work. <laughs> like, they look strong, but they don't work. So Shanti always gets me with push-ups in his programs, and I keep thinking they're going to get better. Um, but that being said, my mind was telling me, you've done enough push-ups today, you're going to be dead, stop doing them. But then I, I kind of threw that out of my mind, I said, no, like, these will get easier, I will be able to do more without being so tired. Um, and so I kept doing them, even though I, I did not want to do them. Right now I'm feeling a bit of a headache, I think that's just more so because of my hair. I have so much hair, it's so heavy and my neck is tired. Um, but today's workout... It was really fun. I was worried going into it because I did stay up late working on a video concept for this channel and editing pictures and I was just tired. Um, but I don't know I don't know what else to say. I'd say overall, I really enjoy this workout. I'm still loving this program. I recommend it to everybody, whether you are a beginner or advanced. However, I would say the same thing I said with Insanity. If you are not ready for change, um, then this program won't be for you because it really is kind of a you have to be disciplined and you have to you have to push past all of those voices in your head that are telling you this is too hard I can't do this oh speaking of which I, I guess really not speaking of which Shanti ended this workout in a very different way than the past one so for the last minute of the workout basically did a squat hold so he wanted to make sure that if somebody came and sat on your leg you could hold it. You could support that weight and it would be like a chair. Um, and then I already do pretty low squats to begin with, so I was down there. And then the last 30 seconds, he said to take it down another inch, so I went down even further. And then the last, I think, 15 or 20 seconds, it was pulsing. I felt like my muscle in my butt was actually spasming. Every time I pulsed, I felt like a jerk in my butt. So, um, but those kind of workouts are my favorite kind of workouts. I love when a program has me like do, you know, a minute worth of squats, just consistent squats. And then they say the last 10 minutes, you're going to hold the squat. I love that because I feel it in a way that it's not like power and I'm having to, my heart rate's flying and 
It's just, I feel the burn in my legs and I can push past that. To me, that feels good. That means I'm changing. It motivates me. So I loved that. However, after a minute of that, um, during cool down, I will not lie to you, I stood up for probably 20 seconds of the cool down. Then he started doing like squats and stuff and I just laid down on the ground and started stretching on the ground. And then it got to the point where I was breathing so hard that I couldn't even do the stretches anymore. So I just laid there. <laughs> but that's it. So day 10 is done and I will see you guys next time.